everyone, so another summer edition video and today we're going to talk about fragrances and nails. So my topics for summer nail polishes and then I've got some perfumes and some kind of unconventional different types of fragrances as well. But the first thing when it comes to nail polishes are the kind of bluey, greeny, minty colours. I think they're really, really summery and I wouldn't really ever wear them in any other time of year apart from summer. The first one, I'm going to kind of get the cliche over and done with, is Essie's Mint Candy Apple. Everyone talks about this, it's really famous, but for good reason. It's a really, really lovely nail polish. Um, I do think it's a little bit more green on the nails than it comes up in the bottle, but it's a beautiful colour. I love the brush and it's just gorgeous. If you don't want to spend that much money, a pretty good dupe for that is Barry M's, um, what is this one called? I think it's called mint green or minted or something like that. I'll put a little annotation um, once I figure out what it's called. But that's what this looks like. Very, very similar, but a little bit more bright as opposed to pastel, which is nice if you've got tan, really nice quality, and barium nail, barium and nail polishes are just really fantastic in general. A more, mm, I'd say like a baby blue colour is this Maybelline one, and this is called Turquoise Lagoon. This is what it looks like. It isn't turquoise at all, it's just a kind of minty, bluey colour. Really, really pretty. Um, I think they're the express finish, so they're supposed to like dry really fast. It doesn't dry any faster than your average nail polish, but it does look really pretty on the nails, and I do really like this. And then, the last kind of greeny one is this Sinful Colours one, and this is in Rise and Shine. And this is kind of more of a dark green, and I would wear this in the winter time as well, to be honest, but it does look really, really striking, and it's a matte finish, but it isn't matte. If you put a glossy top coat, it will look glossy, and it's a really, really beautiful colour. And then, the other two that I've got are just kind of pink colours. I tend to go for these types of colours when it's warm, and these are the ones I've been reaching for. Very similar. The first one is again a kind of blogger cliche, and this is Essie's Cute as a Button. Love this. Um, I was actually wearing a blazer before that's the exact same colour of this. I'm holding them kind of near each other, but really, really pretty. Again, lovely formula, and it's the type of colour that kind of looks different on different skin tones. So on some people it can look more pink, on some people it can look more coral, and it's a really, really lovely So another colour. one that I'm totally obsessed with is this one by Sinful Colours, and this is called Timbleberry, and this is amazing on toes. It's like the perfect summer pedicure colour. I've kind of repainted my toes with this three times in a row now, which is something that I never ever do when it comes to nail polishes. But this is so lovely, it just had to be done. I absolutely love it. But that's it for nail polishes. Now I'm gonna talk about fragrances. The first one that I've got here is more of a kind of summer night fragrance, and this is the Kim Kardashian Original Perfume. I've wanted this for such a long time, and I'm really glad that I've got it because it is really nice. It's got a very strong gardenia scent to it, so it's more of a nighttime fragrance because it is quite strong, but it's in a very kind of summery way because it's so floral, and it's really inexpensive as well. I think this retails at about seventeen pounds, something like that, and this is the fifty ml, no thirty ml bottle, so really, really inexpensive. Then a kind of more expensive one is this one right here by Dior, and this is the Miss Dior Cherie. And this is absolutely beautiful. I love the bottle, I love the little kind of embossed print they do, and the scent of this is gorgeous. It's just very fresh and light, and it kind of smells like lemongrass and jasmine and just cleanliness. It's really, really beautiful for summer, but it's kind of got a little bit of an edge because of the jasmine in it. I really recommend this. If you love jasmine scents, definitely, definitely go and pick this up because it's beautiful. And then another one that is very, very summer appropriate is this one by Roberta Cavalli, and this is their, what is this called? I can't remember what this one's called. I'll put a little annotation here. But this is what it looks like. It's called Aqua something, but I'm not 100% sure, so I won't say in case I'm saying it wrong. But this is one that I happen to just smell in shop, and I wouldn't have really ever picked this, but I just smelt it, and it is beautiful. And then Fragrance Direct were kind enough to send me this and the Kim Kardashian perfume, because I just think it's a really, really holidayish smell. It doesn't smell like anything traditionally holidayish, which to me is kind of more coconutty smells. It doesn't smell like that. It's quite fruity, and it's just got a really, really beautiful kind of fresh, fruity 
summer smell. It just smells like summer without being traditionally summerish. I don't know. It's hard to describe. You'll have to go and smell it, but really lovely. And I'll put the link for Fragrance Direct down below because they sell discounted um, cosmetics and fragrances. So it's really cute. And then the last one is a slightly more expensive one. And this is the Isamiyaki, um, I think this is called Ludacy Floral. They've got the kind of original one like this, and then this is the floral version. I really, really like this. I've loved this for years. It's just very rose um, based, but it's not that kind of traditional sweet grandma rose smell. It's kind of more of a, it's more of a kind of fresh modern rose smell, if that makes sense, but perfect summer fragrance. And the bottle of it's really pretty as well. And it's just one of those very classic, pretty feminine scents. Then I've got some kind of different types of fragrances here as well. I've got some candles and then quite an unusual thing. But the candles I've got here are all from Kringle Candle, which is a brand that um, is kind of founded by Yankee Candles, which we all know are the most fantastic candles ever. But they're founded by them and they do some really, really amazing candles. They're pretty similar in price range to Yankee Candles, but just slightly cheaper. But they do some really, really fantastic, fantastic scents. And my favorite one ever is one of the winter ones that they do, which is the hot chocolate one. My boyfriend is absolutely obsessed with that. It's beautiful. It just smells like you're in a coffee shop and they're making hot chocolate. It's very sweet and very strong and beautiful but these are more kind of summery scents because who said you can only burn candles in the winter time I burn them all year round this one is the um, sunflower sunrise I love the name of that and guess what it smells like it smells like sunflowers it's just got that kind of clean washing smell but with a little bit of floral hints in there really lovely I haven't burnt this one yet I just kind of left it open in the kitchen and it made everywhere smell nice but really excited to try that one. And then the second one is really unusual and this is called Tranquil Waters. The packaging of this is really pretty as well. And this is more of a masculine scent, um, which is kind of nice with candles because I feel like sometimes they can either be really kind of strong and musky and kind of cinnamon based in the winter or really sweet. This is really different. It's quite a masculine scent, but I like that. And it's the kind of scent that you know would smell really lovely in your bathroom, for example. Because it's kind of, it sort of smells like crystal. I know that crystal doesn't smell like anything, but it's just got that kind of very crisp, clean, men's fragrance type of smell. Really, really nice and definitely a nice present if you had to buy something for a guy as well. I think most men would quite like that one. Then, what else have I got in here? This is the one I'm burning in my bathroom at the moment. And this is the beach side candle. And again, so it's got that kind of quite clean, fresh, smelly smell, but it's kind of got a little bit of a hint of vanilla in it, so it's not super masculine. Really nice bathroom one, and just kind of makes you feel all relaxed and lovely. And then the one I've been burning in my bedroom has been this watermelon one, which is absolutely gorgeous. Just smells like pure watermelon, but not that kind of really sweet, artificial bubblegum watermelon. It's just that kind of really fresh, natural watermelon smell and I had this burning in my bedroom last night and it smelled beautiful and then I've just got a couple of other little ones in here that I wanted to talk to you about one of which is actually my second one I've burnt a full one of these already and this is the coconut and pineapple this is just holiday in a candle it smells like sunscreen basically and to me holidays always smell like sunscreen and coconut not that I've ever been anywhere tropical enough to involve coconut but really really coconutty it doesn't smell like pineapple at all to me which i kind of wish it did a little bit because i love that but it really smells like coconut and it's just beautiful and amazing and definitely definitely one of my favorites go and pick that up if you like those types of scents because it's lovely and then the other ones i've got in here i don't think i've tried any of these other ones actually here oh this one i have actually i've burnt a full one of these in my tart burner but this is called um splash very very manly this is the manliest one of all it's when I say manly I don't mean kind of like manly sweat or anything it just kind of smells like a clean man <laughs> if that makes sense kind of like men's fragrance men's deodorant my boyfriend's pointing at himself now yes it smells like you I'll tell you a little like secret my boyfriend <laughs> is the nicest smelling person on the planet right you know how most men even if they're really clean, have a little bit of BO, he never ever has BO, ever. Like, ever. And we've been together for nearly five years now. 
and he never has beer and he always smells amazing. He has a shower in the morning and then at night gets into bed and you can still smell shower gel. I have a shower and then three seconds later I'm like dripping with sweat and you can't even smell the perfume on me anymore. He still smells like shower gel in the evening. What is that about? Must be something about the pH levels in your skin, I don't know, but yeah, this kind of does smell a bit like you. It's kind of just very clean and kind of like a men's deodorant and I like the smell of men's deodorant. Some men's deodorant to be fair, not the kind of like teenage boy deodorants. What are they called? Lynx, yeah, I don't like those. Is it yeah, Lynx? No, I don't I don't like those things. Then this one is called Petals in Water. Floral and quite powdery, but it's a very kind of relaxing, clean scent. Again, these types of scents are just fantastic for summer because they just make you feel really relaxed. And then the last one I can't wait to burn, and this is Lemon Rind. And this just smells super lemony, but again, not that kind of artificial lemon cough sweet smell, just natural, beautiful lemon, and it's lovely. And then the other kind of different product I wanted to talk to you about is this, and this is a bed fragrance. So this is fragrance that you put into your bedding, and this is actually the sealed one, and this is the cinnamon version. I've got the jasmine version in my bed at the moment. And basically, they're just kind of sheets of, not plastic, but kind of like, um, I don't know what you'd call what they're made out of, kind of like, that kind of sheer gauzy fabric. Um, and they're just kind of sheer sheets that you put two in your pillowcases, and then one in your either, um, duvet or in your sheet. I haven't put it in the duvet cover because we're not sleeping with the duvet at the moment because it's really hot. But they make your bed smell lovely. They do say on the website that they all kind of smell really strong and then last a month. They don't smell overpoweringly strong when you put them in. They smell nice and then it kind of subsides. Personally, I would like it better if they kind of smell like they do at first all the time. But really nice. The jasmine one, my boyfriend's shaking his head and saying no. Why not? It's, it's, it is actually no, it was stronger at first then. For me. Mm. I think, yeah, I'd like the But, I mean, nice, you, you get in the bed and you can really smell it. Yeah, you can, can you? Yeah, they are really I lay good. my head on the pillows. Like yeah, the pillows smell more than the blanket. The, not the blanket, I've got it in the sheet. The, the sheet, yeah. But they'd make a really, really nice gift, I think, as well, because it's not something that you'd necessarily go out and buy yourself, because it's just a bit indulgent and a bit random. But when it gets cooler, I'm definitely going to put the cinnamon one in. And I'm definitely going to pick up some more of these because they are really, really nice. And it just makes your whole bedroom kind of smell nice and clean and lovely. But um, I thought that not many people would be aware of these, so I wanted to mention them because they're really unusual. And I'll put the link to their website down below if you want to go and order something. Definitely do because they're really, really good. But that is it. Those are my top picks for kind of summer and... Um, fragrances and nail polishes and I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what your favourite, favourite summer fragrances are. I know a lot of people are going to say CK1, the summer edition, the multicoloured bottle. I know a lot of people really love that one but I don't particularly um, like that one. It's a little bit too strong for me. But I will put all the information that you need down below and I will see you all soon. Bye. And the last one and I am absolutely obsessed with this colour on toes is the Simple Colours in Timbleberry. <laughs> I think we can cut that bit out, can't we? Yeah.